she's been attempting to see if blondes really do have more fun after dyeing her brunette locks a bold shade of platinum a few months ago. And that certainly seemed to be the case for Amelia Clark as she partied with her Game of Thrones co-star Gwendolyn Christie at the 75th Annual Golden Globe Awards at the Beverly Hilton on Sunday evening. The British actress, 31, looked as though she was having an absolute ball as she burst into a fit of giggles while sharing a joke with her fellow cast member, 39, backstage at the high-profile event. Amelia, who portrays Mother of Dragons Daenerys Targaryen in Game of Thrones, enjoyed a reunion with another of her HBO co-stars in the form of Kit Harington, 31, as the pair joined forces to present a prize. The duo addressed the star-studded crowd as they named actor and comedian Aziz Ansari winner of Best Performance by an Actor in a Television Series musical or comedy for his role as Dev Shaw in Netflix's Master of None. Amelia looked incredible as she joined in the Golden Globe's Time's Up protest by wearing black in solidarity with victims of sexual harassment and assault. The actress turned heads in a strapless, figure-hugging moo dress with a plunging neckline. Adding height to her frame with Jimmy Choo stilettos and a matching clutch, Amelia injected some A-list glamour to her look with Harry Winston jewels. Kit was suited and booted to perfection in a tailored black suit by Dior Hum. Gwendolyn looked equally striking as she hit the red carpet at the Golden Globes showcasing her statuesque form to perfection in a dramatic ruffle detail gown by Giles Deacon. The actress teamed her stunning gown with era of Artanian jewellery and Manola Blahnik shoes as she joined the great and good of Hollywood at the star-studded event. Although Game of Thrones fans will no doubt be delighted to see some of the cast members in attendance at the Golden Globes, they have a long time to wait until the next installment of the fantasy drama. HBO recently confirmed season 8 will not hit screens until 2019, meaning this show will sit out 2018 entirely. Season 7 of the medieval drama wrapped after just seven episodes on August 27 with an 80-minute segment called The Dragon and the Wolf. It contained a slew of reveals not least of which was that Harrington's Jon Snow is actually the son of actor Wolf Scolding's Rhaegar Targaryen and Iceling Francosi's Lyanna Stark, long written out of the series. That makes him the heir to the Iron Throne and also the nephew of Daenerys Targaryen, meaning their lusty romance is incest. The final scenes showed the Night King riding undead dragon Viserion with the White Walkers leading an army of the undead as they finally battered down the Great Wall that had kept the South safe for millennia. A galaxy of Hollywood greats descended on the Golden Globe's red carpet on Sunday to honor the best in film and television as 2018 awards season officially kicked off. The color black was chosen as a simple way to show solidarity with the victims of sexual harassment and assault and make a statement against a pervasive culture of misconduct, brought to light by the downfall of movie mogul Harvey Weinstein. The ceremony at the Beverly Hilton, the first for late-night NBC funny man Seth Meyers as host, is not as reliable at predicting Oscars glory as the galas held by Hollywood's acting, producing and directing unions. Big Little Lies and three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri were the big winners of the night, picking up four prizes each. Dominating the television category, Big Little Lies was named Best Limited Series or TV Movie with three of its stars taking home individual prizes. Nicole Kidman won Best Actress, 
limited series or television movie for her role as domestic abuse victim Celeste Wright, while screen husband Alexander Skarsgård picked up the Best Supporting Actor in a Series.